Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Zorowski and I will present you a charisma recent about emergency plans, French regulation on planes, emergency plans, drain, uh, training for drawing uh, an emergency plan. And so let's go. I will present you uh, first the French regulation on emergency plans and why we are advanced in this field. Uh, in second time, the history and the global regulation, uh, regulation above emergency plans and few regulation on precisely emergency plans. We are in early in this reflection to protect museum and other institution. Finally, I will speak about training for drone uh, drafting an emergency plan, the logical um, continuation our progress of our progress, how we train, who is operational and which equipment we have. So first, I will uh, speak about uh, history of emergency plans and regulation. So the France uh, before mondialization. France historically is in advance in safeguarding of uh, heritage with a commitment of the army well before the signing in uh, 1954 of the Hague Convention for Protection, Cultural Heritage, uh, Cultural Property and the ratification in 2017 uh, of additional protocol. So in 1863 uh, in the US, there was the labor code during the civil war. Work of art, libraries, scientific collections or viable instruments such as astronomical uh, telescope must be preserved just like hospital from any damage that is not unavailable, even when they are located with fortified places undergoing siege or bombardment. This is the first writing thing in think in protection on heritage. But we always care about that. But the first time we, this is the first time we have a regulation rules during a war. Next step for France is the Prussian War in 1870. That was the first protection act for cultural heritage in France. A part of the collection in Paris were transplanted to the west side of the territory. French government was afraid that Prussian soldiers uh, put fire um, put fire in the with shooting cannon to museum. You need to understand the global logistic during this time and the first act of conservation and care to storage the collection, uh, a first step with first experts. Two years after the first world war specifically military units were deployed in the north and east of France to safeguard heritage. A part of the collection in Paris moved in different places of France to avoid bombs. This collaboration continued in 19th century and 1930s, uh, yes, in 1930s, with cooperation between at the time, Ministry of Fine Art and Ministry of War. In uh, each military region, curators were notably responsible for preparing the evacuation of cultural property before the start of the Second War. Those operations precede those uh, of the famous group uh, of Monuments Men, uh, created in 1943 by uh, General Eisenhower uh, in the US. This group 
of director and curators of museum art historian architect and archivist follows the progress of the allies against the nazis to preserve churches museum and national museum national museum uh, monuments sorry and since uh, in 1966, uh, 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 the French army had creators, uh, soldiers trained at the Ecole du Louvre and the National Heritage Institute, and who can be mobilized uh, for projects in the fields, a school unique in the world since uh, 2080 with uh, 22 curators uh, in his world, Hank, to now act in conflict, uh, in conflict zone. This is done in uh, cooperation with local political uh, authorities, cultural authorities, but also the armed force. We know uh, heritage plays an essential uh, role in the identity of those population and therefore in the return to a situation of peace and normal situation. After mondialization, unification of Europe, uh, we think more as group. In 2035, uh, it is a flourishing uh, pact. It is an international treaty aim at protecting cultural property during time of war. Part of the initiative um, is by the Roman, uh, the Russian painter, uh, Nicholas Rolachin. And a flag became the symbol of the protection with uh, white for peace, you can see uh, on the screen, Abroad with red circle symbolizing, symbolizing uh, culture, enclosing three uh, spheres representing religions, science, and art. So, in 1954, the Hague um, Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the event of armed conflict is the first uh, international treaty uh, dedicated to, protein, to protection of cultural property during armed conflict. It is an um, international treaty initiated and under the auspice of UNESCO. As of September 2022, the treaty uh, had been ratified by uh, 100 60, uh, 34 uh, states. Since uh, the destruction in Afghanistan uh, of the Baminian Buddhas by the Taliban uh, in 2001, many other cultural heritage buildings have been targeted by Islamic groups. The image of the demolition of the uh, mausoleum of Tambuktu in uh, 2012, um, and the monuments of the ancient city of uh, Palmyra in uh, Syria in uh, 2015 mark the spirit. So, to fight against those acts, uh, UNESCO and the Blue Shield born. UNESCO help protection of natural site and heritage all around the world in different countries. They mark building, help regulations, and spread training on civil and army units to understand to all population who um, our heritage is important and how protect the specific collection or building. The Blue Shield uh, is one of the kids of UNESCO cooperations.
those groups uh, around the world have the mission to help to help local protection and form local specialists or experts. We have a French Blue Shield as well for Germany, Austria, Belgium, Italy, and England. They form experts and army and firemen to cooperation between them. So let's speak uh, about the rules in uh, France and regulation. With all the history, uh, France creates the emergency plan for institutions to respond to the question, how and what evacuate? Those questions come to civil protection, firemen and curators. But we are so few to engage and ask the question to real institution. The document is uh, obligatory uh, in France for archives since a few years, but for libraries, it is an act since one year. Before this date, that was only uh, an option or a personal, un personal engagement for curators. Necessary, but not obligatory. And for museum, this isn't obligatory at all. We just have recommendations by the government, like it is better for you to prepare in case of event like uh, fire, huge fire in your institution. Without obligation, this is very difficult to engage institution and the redaction of the documents because like everyone, they don't have the time. We have regulation on, uh, we have regulation or how we name uh, emergency plan. This is the PSBC and how to organize the documents for firemen. Our main protection regulation come to civil protection. If the regulation protect an entire city, the recommendation and log logistic will help and protect the museum in this city. But this is mainly for help citizen and building like school or hospital. In France, our regulation for fireman intervention is first save human, common buildings, industrial buildings, installation, nature, and last, heritage. To apply this regulation, we have um, a, a Ministry of Culture, the DRAC, uh, Regional Direction of Cultural Affairs and Local Services. So I will stop there. And for the next part of this lesson, I will speak about the how to save collection. And the first question uh, come to you and all organize your work. Thank you for listening. See you in the next in the next lesson.